YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics. So today we're going to take a look at what exactly is the difference when you upgrade your ambulances. So the ambulances, you can, uh, once you've researched on an ambulance, you can research their upgrades, same as you can with the different clinics, and they can go to rank two and rank three. So today we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna see what they do. So here we have a compliant column three, the maximum upgraded one. We've got a compliant column two, uh, it's been upgraded only once, and then we've got a baseline compliant column, no upgrades applied. We've also got in our arsenal here, the three doctors slash nurses that we have in our employee that we're going to be using are each equipped with, are both level two, or all three of them are level two, and they have exactly one skill of driving and one thing of diagnostics. So all of that is going to be even Steven here. Two of them are doctors, one of them is a nurse, and everyone else I've who has the driving skill I've turned off so that they, we make sure that these are the three people who come heed our call. We've got an emergency nearby. This one right here, this probable emergency has enough for everybody. Now, one of our rivals is coming to get that, but we're gonna dispatch all three. Now, first off, the ETAs on all three of these are the same. So the boost uh, from the levels may not be one towards their speed, but that, uh, that doesn't mean that they're not worth it. Let's take a look at how we do. Okay, so I have grabbed all three so they can get to their respective ambulances really quick so that they all leave at approximately the same time. So let us do this for science. Looks like they all have to take a little bit of a turn. That's fair, uh, take their turns. So we can all see that they are traveling at about the same rate. So it does not look like their levels impact their actual speed of getting there. At the very least, it looks like all three of them will be beating uh, Holistics and Bungie uh, Metal Meditech to this emergency. So that all five of them, there's like 15 patients here, so they will all grab them collectively, which is exactly what I want. All right. Well, we've got five, five, and four, which is fine. That's fine. Because what I want to see is what is the state of these patients when they get back to my hospital? And is there a difference in the power of diagnosis? But at the very least, we made uh, both Bungie and Holistics whiff. That's one little tip is you can see where they're sending their people out to. If you can get there faster, then you not only get the patients, but you also make them waste their uh, ambulance time essentially because they can't just abort mission or turn around they have to get there realize there's nobody left all right we're coming in for the pit remember this is three this is two this is one all right ambulance number one gets in but they were the first to leave so let's take a look at the state of our patients here so we are at we are at a sitting at a baseline of a 59 percent diagnosis certainty now, the problem here is that we don't necessarily, the, this might be modified by disease uh, difficulty, and we don't know what the disease is that they have, but we can see they get back at the same time. If we can get multiple people on each of these that have the uh, under the weather, we know we can use that as sort of our baseline. 62% on Kylie Fluff here. You, Branwyn is 56, but that might be a harder disease to diagnose, so we can't take that at face value here. 70% at for Cat Growl, 66%, 68%, 70%, 80%. All right, I'm starting to see uh, I'm starting to see a little bit of a pattern here. Okay, we got a we got an under the weather here, 48%. So. The other, under the weather from level, so here's a good baseline. Our level three ambulance delivered an under the weather patient with a 56, whereas we just got an under the weather patient from level two as a 48. I'm betting, I mean, I don't think we got an under the weather patient from our level one, but I'm guessing they would probably be lower. So it does look like there is a boost to diagnosis certainty here. Again, modified by the difficulty of the illness. And that's actually not a bad thing. That's actually a really good thing. That's probably worth it to upgrade all of your stuff for. 
to get that extra boost to diagnosis uh, chance when they arrive because that's all the fewer rooms that these new patients are going to need to bounce around in and more and all the more quickly they are to get into your treatment rooms and out of your hospital and more importantly to pay you. As you can see, we have a massive line up here and some of our other things. That's the thing that you need to be wary of when it comes to emergency patients is you get floods of patients. But usually when you have queue builds up from emergency patients, that's not as bad as queue builds up just from systemic patients. Because at the very least, your, your rooms will eventually churn through those, those bigger queues. Whereas if you're getting so many people that nine people have lined up for the ward, you need another ward. So keep that in mind when balancing stuff. So yeah, upgrade your ambulances. Regardless of what flavor ambulance you're using, upgrade it. In my next video, I will be analyzing the different types of ambulances to see which one might be best. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a compliment. Compliment. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind if you'd let, leave, leave me a compliment. But a comment, good or bad. Till next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya! Thank you.